Hi, uh, welcome back. This is Eugene Blanchard and we're looking at uh, Band Lab Cakewalk and in this video we're going to talk about exporting audio. Uh, as an example, you've just written a song, now you want to export it. There's a few things you have to do before you export it and uh, one of the very first is you want to check your endings. So what I do is I take this, go all the way to the very end. Uh, you can do the piano roll. Piano roll is a little bit faster so I'll grab it and you go to the end of your song. Now what will happen is that as you write a song, so this is the end of my song, this is where everyone ends on the uh, probably a C chord and that, and you want to go a couple notes past or beats past. So I end at seven, 74th measure in the first beat and I'm going to go to 75, right, next measure. Now, often when you cut and paste, and that's what you're going to be doing, you're going to cut and paste uh, choruses and verses and stuff like that, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot of blank music at the end, and your song won't end at 74 or 75 here, measure 74, 75. It's going to keep going, keep going, keep going. You're going to wonder why. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to cut it. So as you can see here, I've cut it at 74... 0.03, one beat past. So I put my cursor where I want to cut it and then I, sp I split it using my edit tool. I just hold it down and then hit split and then what happens is I can it'll change into a little scissors here so what you can do is you can cut your piece. I'll just cut this one here. This is the part you want to keep. That's the part you want to edit and you click on it and then press delete. Now often what you ha might have is little remnants of pieces that are way back in here and that's so uh, you'll have to check each track. Oh, here's a good example. Here's a track that's edit ending um, a little bit farther and that's what's going to stop your song when it ends. Right, so if you find you're playing your song and it just keeps going and going and going either you have old remnants of the song with no notes in it or a track with no notes in it or you might have little chunks that have ended up way back here right? roughly after you don't want it to end immediately because then what will happen often you'll get a, a, a chop right? so instead of fading out uh, like if you have reverb on any of these guys even though the note has stopped there's still going to be a little bit of reverb so you always want to have uh, a little bit of time afterwards that you can uh, uh, just let everything die off naturally Okay, so now that we got that done, how do you export a song? Well, you go to the export tab up here, and then you'll have some choices. You can do audio, and and you have different versions of audio. Right? If you do MP3, it's going to ask you for uh, first what the name of it is, where do you want to save it, right? And then it's going to ask you for metadata, right? So do you want to encode the, the data? Um, if this was on an album, you'd indicate what track it was on. Let's say it's one. This is the title, right? We'll call it Blues, Artist, I'll just put my initials, and the album name. And we'll just say this is the greatest album ever. And the year that it was, 2021, and the genre, right? So this is Blues. And then any comments you want to put, you know. Uh, maybe the location, right, buy more, etc. Then you hit OK, it's going to save that, right? So that's one way, that will save the complete song. If you want the best quality, you would save it as a WAV file, right? When you save it, there's no options, it starts just exporting it, and, and we'll do that and you'll see the export coming here. So right here at the top, it says the mixing down audio, and now we're just waiting for it to uh, mix it down and save it. Uh, there's no metadata with a WAV file, but that gives you the best quality audio. Uh, where MP3 is an example, what it does is it compresses it. The location where Cakewalk saves it is on your C drive in the root folder. And what happens is you have your Cakewalk content and projects. right? So if I click on projects, here's the blues project. And this would have your, uh, this is the project. It's not 
the audio it's the project uh, you can change the name of this in here yeah, I can change it to blue something else and the same with the folder here if you want to find the audio what you do is you go back to the root directory of C drive and there's cakewalk content I click on cakewalk content and there's an audio library and in the audio library this is where it's going to put your songs like blues so it has a default that it puts it here what I had done is I had uh, um, a folder the so complete name of the song was called blues and C major sir I click on here and here's my blues song that's been uh, you want to make sure that you have no highlighted areas like this uh, sometimes what you can do is you can uh, click on an item hit uh, shift key and it'll highlight this if you go to record this is the only section that will be recorded right so we don't want to do that uh, we're going to select all the tracks I'm going to um, bring my cursor to the beginning and now I'm going to select tracks I click on drums and uh, the first track and then I do a shift click to get them the rest of the track so I have all seven tracks um, identified now I'm going to export and what I can do is export all the tracks individually so what I'm going to do is create a, a new folder uh, this one will be called um, tutorial I'll go into the tutorial folder and we have to give it a name so the file name I'm going to give it is example and what this does is that every one of the tracks what I've done is I've come down here and I've selected tracks to export it shows all my source tracks the ones that I highlighted and I'm going to give it sorry it looks like I it automatically deleted the file name so the file name is example this is the prefix to each one of these so it'll go example dash drums dash bass and create all of that um, I'm using wave uh, and this gives you some information the sample rate bit depth dithering and stuff. I just use all the standard presets you can uh, export in all sorts of different media I'm just going to leave it with wave it's worked for me and I hit export it's going to ask me do you want to do this uh, sure why not and now it's mixing down at the top again this is always a good test to see if it's working right we should see it mixing um, takes a while to mix down and we should see all of this is highlighted and those are clues that everything is working properly so it's mixed down so now I can go to my folder uh, I'll have to go to C drive cakewalk content audio library I, I had a folder called blues and C major sir I put a folder called tutorial and there's our exported tracks right? and the format is example is the name of the file name dash bass trombone the name that we gave that track and what channel it was it was channel 5 so if I go to drums I click on it we'll just hear the drums So that's a really good example now I have the individual tracks you say well why would I like to do that well what I can do now is I can import this into the mix editor in BandLab once I import it into the mix editor in BandLab then what I can do is actually collaborate with other uh, musicians what they can do is they can add music to it they can add in my case I had an instrumental so they can add in uh, vocals they can add in uh, electric guitar etc uh, what we'll do next is that we'll show you how you import it into the uh, mix editor in BandLab. Thank you very much.